All right, on the point you just made a second ago, this comes out in TechCrunch, OpenAI, Google asked the US government to let them train on AI copyrighted content. So here you go. It's like throw copyright out the window. In order to win the race with China, we need access to all the content, whether it's copyrighted or not. I have two views on this. A, yes, uh, um, makes sense. Um, it, you're, so and you're, if, saying, you're saying that the government should let them use all copyrighted content? Yes. And I, re, I have the a reason why. Why? Because okay. copyright has been um, uh, misused for the last 50, 80 years. It keeps getting extended by Disney to protect Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's called the Mickey Mouse Act, honestly, because they've been extending copyright to protect the Disney characters for like freaking ever. And so the, the, it's grotesquely twisted from the original intent of have copyright for like, say, 15 or 20 years, and then it should become public domain. And it's now an 80 year cycle or something absurd like that. So it's been badly um, uh, twisted out of original proportion to protect corporate actors. And so that should be one level of it. On the other hand, it's very convenient for Google and opening out to want this. Uh, the bigger challenge, I think, is we're running out of data. And as we run out of data, we need synthetic data or access to the deep web or copyright content or something. But I think they need to figure out how to compensate the content owners for this in some way, shape, or form. I don't know what that obvious well, model is. Well, there is a solution, and uh, uh, and Bill Gross spoke about that on yeah. Tuesday morning. I think you were out for that presentation, but I saw well, the highlights of it. I thought his I, I thought his ideas were totally his constru constructs were really good because it aligns the incentives. Yeah. Right. And well, that I think mention, is a really powerful model. Let me mention what it is. And full disclosure, my venture fund's an investor in it. It's called Pro Rata AI. And what he's done is he's gone and he's created a model in which he gets a number of, of content creators. So I've got a number of books, I've signed up for this. He's spoken to a, a huge number of content creators. And ProRata AI sucks in all of the data. And then when it looks at an, a large language model's results, it says, okay, the results are 38% from Time Magazine, 24% from Bloomberg, you know, 0.00001% from Diamandis. And then it apportions the money uh, along those lines. Hmm. So, you know, vastly difficult, but very possible. And we have to remember that Bill Gross was the guy who came up with the AdWords. AdWords effectively became AdWords. It was Overture yeah. originally, and the model that Google used to become a trillion dollar company. Yeah. I think that's a, I think it's a very directionally, it's exactly the right way to go. Yeah. Right. And there's some bun fight over how much of the percentage should go in that model to the content creators, et cetera. But if you structure something like that, I think it makes it uh, reasonably fair. And what everybody's looking for is a, a reasonably fair playing field. Yeah, and that would be, that would be a nice thing. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, we've got these massive companies that are pouring in. Do you remember what the figure we heard during the Abundance Summit was? of how much it's like a billion dollars a day. A billion dollars a day is going into AI. It's crazy. It's insane. I mean, yeah. honestly, a billion dollars a day. I would have never imagined it, but do the, do the mass. Yeah, hundreds of billions of dollars per year. And I think we'll be reaching close to a trillion dollars a year soon enough. 